What is Grendel, the monster in the Beowulf story? What is he? In this video, we're going to answer this question decisively. The first mention of Grendy is right here, line 102, and it says, Was Grimma Gast Grendel Harten? So, the Grim Gast Grendel called. Alright, so. Um, this word is very uh, interesting of itself because some scholars have uh, speculated it to mean uh, two things. Either it could mean a uh, guest um, or in, in, the, in the context of, uh, I guess, a bad guest would be a stranger, an enemy, or what have you. Um, but then the same word, gast, uh, it could also means spirit. It could be a variation of ghost, uh, and ghost is where we get our word ghost from. This begs the question, uh, which is it? Is Grendel just a guest, a really bad guest, or is Grendel a, a spirit, or what have you, or, or, or what have you, a metaphysical being, a spirit? I argue that the, uh, that the, that the rest of the Beowulf poem suggests the latter, that Grendel is a spirit, all right, is a metaphysical spirit and whatnot so just to begin just to get into that so we have it later in in the poem that uh, grendel is referred to as a shadow genga shadow genga literally shadow goer and then this is a very important verse from from the beowulf story especially when it says in the in the latter part here i will ye quath that's him harder anan rin and wolder ear and air god that's that's Achlaken Blodia Badu Forma Onberan Wolde. So, and here we have my translation. Uh, each said that to him, harder, not one weapon would touch or strike um, iron before good, that of the wicked, miserable one, bloody battle palm would diminish. This is where uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of scholars say that. Like no weapon can touch him, and uh, which is really interesting. So this would suggest that if nothing material can touch Grendel, what to say of a you know an iron weapon, right? Uh, that's interesting of itself. That no weapon could touch him and whatnot, and the fact that he's a shadow goer. And it's funny because like it's then you have Beowulf that comes by and uh, rips off his arm. Oh yeah, spoiler alert. But um, but yeah, it's um well well that, that that begs another question. Then what is really Beowulf? So in conclusion, Grendel is a spirit, an evil one, right? Because uh, thing is, you know. It, it would, wouldn't it wouldn't make sense that if Grendel was like I don't know like a human being or something like that as the as the, as early in the poem it suggests that oh uh, uh, Grendel is a descendant of Cain or what have you I mean we got to bear in mind that that um, that these Christian elements or Abrahamic elements were added on I I speculate that they, these things are added on later uh, to the Beowulf story as a way to you know, convert, uh, reinforce conversion of these, of these, uh, of, of these pagans, if you will, that, oh, well, uh, oh, uh, you see, you see your own, uh, stories are, are related to the, the, this new religion called Christianity. Well, well, by then, uh, when this story was being written down by Christian monks or whatnot, I mean, conversion was more or less complete. I think around like the 700s or something like that, but I could be wrong about that. And and so adding these elements in there were to reinforce Christianity, essentially. And anyway, so in conclusion, Grendel is a spirit because he's called a shadow goer, a shadow genga, as well as that no weapon can touch him or what have you. And uh, that suggests, okay, well, this is this is not uh, this being, uh, this metaphysical being, this spirit, you know, cannot be touched by that which is material. But then, and then Beowulf comes in and rips off Grendel's arm. Well, that's a whole different discussion altogether. So, uh, given what I've said earlier, that it's pretty decisive that Grendel's a spirit and not just a guest. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And if you really like the channel, please become a patron at my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.